Hello, this video is about OneNote versus Evernote. In this video, I'm gonna give you what I think is the most important factor or the most important feature for note-taking software, um, which uh, one of these pieces of software dominates every single other uh, piece of software out there that I have found by hands down. And it's not something I hear a lot of people talk about, but the more, the longer I've thought about it, the, the, uh, the reason why I like this one more than everything else, it's because of this reason. And I'm gonna go over that in this video. I'm also going to talk about some of the pros and cons each one because there's kind of def definitely some different benefits to each one um, and it, it's not like one of these wins in every single way um, I also want to point out that I'm talking about OneNote 2016 I'm shooting this in December of 2019 um, and they did Microsoft did say that they would discontinue this but there was a lot of complaints because there's a lot of features that they had in sort of their OneNote for 2010 which is this is what it looks like that they they had in OneNote 2016 that they were removed from one, uh, OneNote 2009, uh, OneNote whatever, um, and they never really were gonna be slated in here. And so they actually reversed that decision just recently to where they will start supporting this and I think that they'll have a, a better, kind of like a, uh, start updating it again. Uh, so that's, that's the good news because this is uh, much better in my opinion, where there's a couple of key areas that it is better at. Okay, so let's start with um, something that I use, uh, as you can see here, I use uh, a lot, which is kind of checklists. Um, and there's like these checkboxes, and I'm clicking on it, but I can also uh, use Control-1 to uh, check that box off, which I really like to do. Um, any, any sort of hotkey situation is actually uh, very useful. And so in Evernote, um, it's a lot harder to do lists, or at least it's, it's a lot uglier. Um, so let's say we do a new note. Um, sample note, and we do a check, and the way that kind of, it puts the bullet in here, and you can do kind of like multiple, when I click on this, it doesn't check the box off, and then also, let's say, I, let's bolt this up again, I do A, and then I do an indention, it, it, it's, it's not as streamlined as, as OneNote, okay, and this is a, this is pretty substantial for me. Um, because I, uh, this is how, just how I think. I think in a hierarchical organization, um, and so sometimes you might have like topic. Imagine like the 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 organization of life to, uh, sub topic, and then you've got sub sub topic, right? And th this uh, this happens all the time. Um, so, and something I mentioned before, the shortcut keys, um, OneNote wins. There's just more shortcut keys. I won't list them all here. I'm just kind of giving a high level uh, uh, thing for it. There is some in, in Evernote, but uh, one thing that Microsoft has generally been good about over the years is being um, very keyboard centric instead of mouse centric, which is faster and more ergonomic to use. And so I like that. That's a win for uh, OneNote. Um, the sharing and syncing, uh, Evernote has an advantage here, and they have since the beginning. It's kind of fluctuated um, where at first, when Evernote first came out, OneNote's sharing and syncing was just really awful. Um, and Evernote's was super stream, super, super great. And their syncing and sharing is still really, really great. So overall, um, I have to give the edge to Evernote. Uh, OneNote is sort of like, it, it, I felt like they'd fixed it for many years. And lately, I don't know if it's with the latest version, the different version of OneNote. I've had some issues with some, sometimes with sharing. Um, not issues with syncing, um, but with sharing, there's been a little bit of some, just every once in a while, someone will have to like, they'll have trouble like actually getting into the notebook in the right way. Um, and it can be confusing uh, due to the nature of sort of, a, there's like, there's also OneNote in your web browser, which I don't recommend you use, but sometimes you have to use that in order to get the sharing and you click on, there's like a button that says like open in app or something and it opens it in here. And that's what you have to do sometimes to get access to it initially. So advantage to Evernote with, with uh, sharing syncing. Okay, so the flexibility that you have, uh, both of these are pretty flexible pieces of software that can do a lot. Uh, but Ever OneNote definitely wins this. There's so much more that you can do with it. It's kind of OneNote. It's meant to put like everything that you could possibly think of, everything that you would ever want to record in your life into one place, which is part of what makes it beautiful. Um, so a, sl a slight advantage to OneNote here. Now here is the biggest thing for me. Here is the biggest reason why OneNote is kind of the, the primary place 
where most of my information in my life goes to. There are some things that I still use Evernote, Evernote for, um, like you can see journaling, or also this is a specific, like this podcast, the, the person, um, Joshua Fletcher, that I'm doing this with, um, they, they, uh, he uses Evernote. And so it's like, all right, cool. I just, I'm happy to use whatever he uses. And so I shared it and we work in there. And so I still do use Evernote. Um, but with OneNote, what, what you get in here, there's there's sort of a, a different philosophy um and with with evernote there's you you organize things primarily by tagging and not so much by like having it in different folders well you can't have like folders and sort of like subfolders um that's about the level of deepness of organization you can have um in one note um the level of or the, the the levels of organization goes uh, I would say four levels deeper, which isn't four times more um, organized. It's fourth. It's a thousand times more organized. It's like ten at ten to the fourth, um, and it's actually better than that. Um, but what this does is this allows for massive amounts of information to be organized in such a way to where sometimes to, to where you can find it very easily without using search. Okay, so search does not always satisfy what you're looking for. There are t there are times in which searching for something is kind of like awkward, um, and in that case, you need to have something that's super organized. And a lot of times, also from like a work a workflow standpoint, being in the vicinity of related concepts and easily accessing closely related concepts is very useful. Uh, is it's much more useful to work in OneNote. I find myself feeling having a, a better sense of feeling of where I'm at. So let's count the levels of organiz of of, of uh, kind of categorization here of hierarchy. You've got the notebook. You've got the section. Um, you've got the this is like a section group. Okay, uh, and then you've got the section within the section group. All right. Um, wait, no, 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 do that. Notebook, section, section group, section within the section group. And you've got uh, pages within the, the section group. You've got sub pages, that's six. And then you've got actually sub sub pages. So I could actually do a sub sub page. I don't think I can go any deeper last I checked. Okay, so that's the, so that's seven levels of hierarchy versus three for Evernote. And even within, you can see within some of these notebooks, uh, you know, I have, you, you can go, I could technically go even deeper, but just without that, seven levels of hierarchy versus three. That is so much more organized, okay? And this is part of the problem with a lot of the other kind of to-dos or note-taking systems out there. They're just not nearly able to be as organized. And with the job that I have, with the business that I run, there's so many moving parts to it. I'm constantly in OneNote. If you could look at my desktop right now, I have eight OneNote uh, notebooks open. Uh, it is by far the software that I use the most in my business. I use it every single day and I'm able to do some really cool things. So like there's a lot more flexibility here. You know, this might look really busy, but what I can actually do is I can do this and now it's, it's super clean. Um, I can close this off, right? So I can make that look a little bit cleaner. Um, and there's just a lot more flexibility in terms of how I display this. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll have a lot of little windows open. I don't want to show them all because there's some private content in there. Uh, but I'll, uh, uh, I'll, I'll open three or four next to each other and I'll use them like this. And so it, being able to kind of compare all the information next to each other is super useful, which you can do with Evernote as well. But I want to show that you can do that in, um, in, in OneNote. Now, with Evernote, you do have tagging, which is another level of organization, but you can do the same thing in in in, um, in OneNote. And this is one thing where the, the newer version of OneNote kind of is subpar in terms of how you can tag. So you can have custom tags, you can have all sorts of different stuff. I can put like a little thing in there and you can actually do tag reports. Um, I don't, I, I, some, for some reason I removed it from here. I don't know why it's not showing up, but where it will show you all across all of your notebooks or specific notebooks um, specific tags and, what, and you can click on them and go to them. Also, the the search works really well. So any anything that Evernote can do, um, OneNote can do just as well. Uh, except for sometimes the sharing and syncing is, is a, can be a little awkward. But once you get it fixed, it's fine. It's just sort of that initial setup sometimes can can cause some issues. So um, hopefully this has convinced you that OneNote is the dopeness and awesome. So I highly highly recommend it. 
um, for just about anything. It's so flexible, and I haven't really found a piece of software that beats it. I think it even beats out like Asana and Trello and stuff like that. Um, well, there are some, again, there's some advantages to using that. I feel like OneNote um, has has them beat in on all the ways that really really matter uh, at least in my business so thanks for watching if you if you like evernote more then leave a comment below why if you think i missed something about why about why evernote or OneNote are better or better then please leave a comment below if you like this video please like it and subscribe and have a great day bye